I think if you've been around Drupal for any length of time, you probably know that one of the greatest weaknesses is page builders. Well, the Drupal community recognizes this. So at least a couple of the pitches at DrupalCon Pittsburgh were all about layout builder and getting a better experience for content editors, maybe even using Gutenberg. That's all pretty much up in the air. What can we do right now? My name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and we're embarking on kind of a mini series. We're going to talk about Layout Builder. And the question is can you make Layout Builder actually usable? I think if you've ever tried it out of the box, you know that, well, you can get a little ways with it, but is it really usable? Now, other companies have made page builders. Acquia has Site Studio, Promet Source has Provis, which is actually really excellent. and currently free. Find it at drupal.org. DXPR has their DXPR layout builder, and it's not free, but their theme is. Um, there's a couple of other companies that have page builders, and I did a video on it a little while ago. I'll link that in the description. The point of this series is, can you make layout builder really work? The answer is yes, absolutely you can. Let's take a quick peek at what we're going to do over the next few weeks here. I'm here at drupal.org slash docs eight core modules layout builder. Just Google it and it'll come right up. There's a good overview of layout builder here. But the thing I want to talk about is additional modules. So the additional modules, when I first started teaching layout builder, there were few and far between here. Now there are a lot. Not all of them work very well. It's still a pretty new concept. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be telling you which ones are my favorite. We'll be adding them and configuring them on a Drupal website. And I'll be sharing with you a whole bunch of details about that. We do have a course over at OS Training. If you're interested in taking the full-blown training on this, it should be released by the time you watch this video. And it will take you step-by-step, tutorial-by-tutorial on how to get Layout Builder set up for yourself. This is going to be kind of, of an overview. All right, well, let's take a quick peek. The first module that I would never even consider not starting with is Bootstrap Layout Builder. Bootstrap gives you grid support and a whole lot more when it comes to Layout Builder out of the box. And it's awesome. Like I said, first module you should install. So let's go install it and configure it real quickly. For this set of YouTube videos, I'm using a site that we actually started with in our Layout Builder class. And again, that's over at OS Training. So we already have Layout Builder and Layout Discovery installed, of course. I'm going to scroll down to Bootstrap Layout Builder. Let's see what we've got to enable. Uh, Bootstrap Layout Builder, Bootstrap Styles. Now, as we're turning this on, currently Media Library Theme Reset is deprecated. This is an issue they're working on. There is a fix in the works. For now, we're just going to turn it on. This is a closed environment. Click Install and Continue. And there we are. Head over to Configuration, Content Authoring, and Bootstrap Layout Builder. Bootstrap Layout Builder gives you, as I said, the entire Bootstrap goodness in your Layout Builder. If I click on Layouts, there are 1 through 12 column layouts. Of course, you don't need to turn all those on. If I click on Styles, this is actually quite interesting. You can select Background Color, Background Media, Text Color, Text Alignment, Padding, Margin, Border, Box Shadow, and Scroll Effects. I would select all of those. It is quite helpful. Click Save. And then Settings. We don't need to worry about anything here. Next, you're going to click on you're going to go to Configuration, Content Authoring, and Bootstrap Styles. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. For instance, under Typography, I have two colors, white and black, text, and left, center, right, and justify. If I wanted to add more colors in the text area, I simply define the class, give it a name. Of course, I have to add the CSS for that, 
and I'll show you in just a moment how easy that is. Similarly, background, if I wanted different color backgrounds, I would add the class and the name there. Under spacing, you get all of those. I've actually never touched any of that. Similarly with border, I've not messed with that at all. I find those to be quite fine shadow and animation. Save configuration. All right, let's go and manage a layout. I'm going to go to Structure, Content Types, News, and Manage Display. And obviously I've not turned it on yet, so I'm going to say Use Layout Builder and click Save. Manage Layout. And this should seem pretty familiar to you if you've ever used Layout Builder at all. All of the fields are now in one section. But if I click Add Section, and I scroll down just a bit, we're going to get rid of these in an upcoming video. But if I click on Bootstrap One Call, now I have boxed full edge to edge, gutters, no gutters, all of the background, color, image, or even a YouTube video. Typography, you get the idea. All of those settings we just looked at are available here. This is unbelievable and super cool. So I'm going to make this edge to edge and no gutter and add section. Now this, of course, depends on whether your content type is a full width content type or not. And I'll share that with you in just a moment. Just for kicks, I'm going to add the hero image up to that area up there. And that's all I'm going to do for now. Let's just click Save Layout, go to Content, and take a look at a news item. Now, as you can see, that isn't edge to edge with no gutters. However, now all of the text and everything is full width in the text area allotted to it. And of course, it's 100% responsive. Now, for this course, I'm using DXPR Studio, which I think is an incredibly awesome free theme. You should absolutely check it out at dxpr.com. One of the things that allows you to do is click on Layout, Full Width Content Types. I'm going to make the news content type full width. Save configuration. Go back to site. And now it's full width. And of course, we've got some work to do. So let's go and manage that layout once again. Content types, news, and manage display. Manage layout. And now I'm going to add another section here. One column again, just to prove the point. This time, I'm going to leave it boxed with gutters. Add section. I'm going to drag the publication date up the body field, the video field, and the category field. And now when I click Save and Back to Site, well, now that's a little bit more readable. We've got a lot more work to do. In an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about Layout Builder blocks, and that's going to give us a ton of options here with our blocks as well. So the first module I always install is Bootstrap Layout Builder, and then configure it. I did promise to show you how that CSS might work. On this site, I'm using Acid Injector. Now, don't yell at me for using Acid Injector. I happen to think it's pretty cool, and it's great to play around with CSS until you get it into your theme. But here are some of those colors that I was mentioning. Here's a dark blue color. There's the background and the color blue for the content when the background is dark blue. Here are the text ones, black text, white text. Here's a blue text. This will give you the blue in the tooltip, and this will give you all of the blue text for your various elements. So as I said, the very first module I install to help Layout Builder is Bootstrap Layout Builder. And as we'll see in upcoming videos, you can hide all of those other columns you don't want. You can put restrictions on it and more. And I hope this has been helpful. Yes, you can use Layout Builder quite effectively in Drupal 10. It just takes a little bit of work. Again, if you are interested in seeing the whole thing all put together, you can head over to OS Training and sign up for the Layout Builder class. Well, thanks for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Hope to see you next time.